Hey guys, it's Marky and welcome back to my channel. For this video, bibigyan ko kayo ng a little bit of overview on what the senior high school curriculum is all about. Para sa mga bago pa sa channel na to, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for the upcoming videos about senior high school advices and tips. Back in 2012, Department of Education implemented a new education curriculum na tinatawag natin ngayon K-12. K that stands for Kindergarten and 12 stands for Grade 12. Kaya naman, nadagdagan ng dalawang taon ng ating basic education dito sa Pilipinas. Nagkaroon tayo ng Grade 11 and Grade 12. Pero parang naguguluhan pa yung iba, especially yung Grade 9 at 10, kung ano ba yung kukunin nila sa senior high school or naguguluhan sila kung ano ba yung senior high school. Ano bang naghihintay sa kanila doon? At noong 2016, nagkaroon na nga ng first batch ng senior high school na grade 11. Pumasok yung ating mga bagong estudyante noong 2016 bilang grade 11. At saka noong 2017, na grade 12 sila. At noong 2018, that was the time na nagkaroon tayo ng first graduates ng senior high school. In this new curriculum, nagkaroon tayo ng junior high school at senior high school. Ano ba yung junior high school? Yung junior high school is from grade 7 to grade 10. At saka yung senior high school is from grade 11 to grade 12. So for this video, pag-uusapan natin yung senior high school na dalawang taon. Ano ba yun? Ano ba yung makukuha natin doon? Ano ba yung makikita or may experience ng mga students sa senior high school? Hmm, like what go. For senior high school, we have four tracks. Namely, number one is yung academic track. Number two is yung TVL track or the technical vocational livelihood track. Yung pangatlo, mayroon tayong sports track. At yung pangapat ay yung arts and design track. For the academic track, ito yung kukuni ng ating mga grade 10 students if they are planning to go to college or if they want to pursue studies. Ito yung track na kung saan college ready yung mga students na gagraduate dito. Ano bang ibig sabihin niyan? Ibig sabihin yung mga subjects na kukunin mo sa academic track ay magagamit mo sa pag-enroll sa college. Yung academic track ay mayroong apat na strand. Unang-una na dyan ang ABM or Accountancy, Business, and Management. Ang strand na ito ay para sa mga estudyante na gustong mag-pursue ng Accountancy, Business Management, or any other course that is related to business. They will be learning business processes, different types of business, accountancy, or any other field related to the business world. Ang pangalawa naman ay UMS. Ito yung tinatawag natin Humanities and Social Sciences. Sabi nila, the students who will enroll in UMS are those who are curious what is beyond the wall. Ano ba yung beyond the wall? Ibig sabihin, yung UMS students are always into community engagement. Pag-aaralan nila yung mga tao, society, kung ano yung nangyayari sa mundo natin or sa paligid natin. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ikaw ay yung student or nag-enroll ka dito sa UMS, dapat marunong kang magsalita. If you don't know how to talk in front of people, then there is no reason for you to enroll in UMS. Kasi yung UMS talaga is all about people who loves to talk with people. Kasi yun yung strand nila. Ang pangatlo is ang STEM. Yung STEM naman yung tinatawag natin Science, Technology, Mathematics, and Engineering. Mathematics and Science is the heart of the STEM strand. Kaya naman, if you're planning to enroll in this strand, dapat yung breakfast mo, lunch mo, dinner mo, gustong gusto mo talaga kumain ng mga numbers at formula, scientific equations. Kasi sabi ng mga students ko, STEM is not for the faint of heart. STEM is for the brave souls. Kasi siguro almost every day they are dealing with numbers and equations and formulas and theories. Diba? Marami silang ginagawang research para makapasa sa strand nila. At yung pang-apat naman ay yung GAS or General Academic Strand. Ito yung para sa mga students who are still confused kung ano yung kukunin nila sa senior high school. Sa strand na ito, pag-aaralan mo yung a little bit of everything from the different strand of the academic track. For example, pag-aaralan mo yung scientific theory from STEM, business processes from ABM, dealing with other people, understanding culture sa UMS. So if you're planning to enroll in GAS, parang makukuha mo lahat from different strands. When you enroll in GAS, parang you should be prepared for a bridging program when you go to college. Kasi nga, Yung gas is a little bit of everything. So pagdating mo sa college, parang you don't have a specific strand. Gagawin ng ibang college, mag-enroll ka pa ng kanilang bridging program so that pag-aaralan mo pa yung ibang subjects na hindi mo nakuha ng senior high school ka pa and then you'll be able to fit in sa scientific course or the course that involves mathematics in college if you want to, di ba? 
So overall, the academic track is for those students who would like to pursue college. So let's emphasize that one. If you want to pursue higher education, then the academic track is the right one for you. In the coming days, gagawa pa tayo ng iba't ibang video, detailed video on a different strand of the academic track. So be sure to hit that subscribe button para ma-update kayo sa mga susunod kong video. For technical vocational track, ito naman yung TVL. Yung tinatawag na lang TVL. So gaya ng academic track, yung TVL natin is mayroon din tayong four strand. Number one is the agri-fishery art. Number two is the home economics. Number three is ICT or Information and Communications Technology. And number four, mayroon tayong Industrial Arts. Bago ang lahat, I want to emphasize that TBL or the Technical Vocational Livelihood Track is for students who would like to have a job-ready skill pagkatapos ng senior high school experience nila. Parang ito yung nagdadalawang isipa if they want to pursue college. The agri-fishery strand in TBL is designed for the hands-on learning and application of the skills that are related to agriculture and aquaculture. Pag-aaralan ng mga estudyante na mag enroll sa agri-fishery arts strand ng TBL yung food processing, animal production, or landscape installation, crop production, fish operation, this is very applicable if you're living in an area kung saan makapagtatanim ka and if you want to earn money pamamagitan ng pagtatanim or pag-aalaga ng mga isda or anything related to that. This is the perfect strand for you. Number two, the home economics strand is specifically made or designed for livelihood projects at home. Nandito yung cookery, bartending, dressmaking, beauty care, food and beverage processing, tourism, and handicraft. Tuturuan kayo kung paano magluto, mag-process ng food, o di naman kaya magtahe. In that way, makaka-earn ka pa ng pera. Yung pangatlo nating strand ng TVL ay yung tinatawag nating Information and Communications Technology. So sa pangalan pa lang alam na natin kung ano yung pag-aaralan sa strand na to. Computer, syempre. For this strand, the students are encouraged to utilize the information and communication technological tools that will be used in the future. Pag-aaralan ng mga estudyante dito yung animation, computer drafting, computer programming, computer system servicing, or any field that is related to the telecommunications industry. Dito nag enroll yung mga students na gustong maging web designer, programmer, computer technicians, IT sales clerk, software, at network engineer. So if you are very interested with computers, I suggest ito yung strand sa TVL na kukunin ninyo. Yung panghuling strand naman ng TVL track ng senior high school ay yung tinatawag natin industrial arts strand. Dito na pag-aaralan ng mga estudyante nag e dito yung tinatawag natin electrical installation, welding, plumbing, automotive servicing, and will also give you skills and knowledge about carpentry. The industrial arts strand ng TVL ay makakatulong kung may plano kayong mag-abroad o lumabas ng bansa at gustong magtrabaho. Kasi nasa strand din na ito yung domestic refrigeration at air conditioning servicing, electrical installation and maintenance, driving, mechatronics at masonry. Sa mga susunod na araw, gagawa tayo ng detailed video na kung saan i-discuss natin yung iba't ibang strand ng TVL in detail. So be sure nakasubscribe na kayo para ma-update kayo sa susunod kong mga uploads. Just a quick recap no, para sa mga estudyante still confused on whether or not they should pursue TVL. Remember that kukuha kayo ng TVL if you are not sure if you will go to college. But if you decide to enroll in TVL tapos gusto nyong mag-college, pwede naman. Tatanggapin naman kayo sa college. Pero mag enroll pa kayo sa isang bridging program na kung saan kukunin nyo yung subject na hindi nyo nakuha noong senior high school na kailangan para makapag-enroll kayo doon sa pinili nyong course sa college. Ang TBL din ay bagay sa mga estudyante ng gustong magkapera ka agad. When you also enroll in TBL, isa sa pinaka-importante ang makukuha mo dito sa track na ito ay yung tinatawag nating Certificate of Competency or National Certificate na kailangan natin, na kailangan nyo if you have plans to go abroad or work there. National Certificate, ito yung tinatawag nating NC, NC1, pwede makakuha ng NC1, pwede makakuha rin na NC2 at saka NC3. You really need this type of certificate para magkaroon ka ng edge doon sa kasabayan mo mag apply ng trabaho. The third track of the senior high school curriculum is what we call sports. Sa pangalan pa lang sports, di ba? Alam naman natin kung ano yung sports. Physical education, health, 
recreational activity. Pero sa track na ito, don't expect na yung pag-uusapan nyo lang is yung physical education and recreation. Kasi sa track na ito, pag-uusapan din yung first aid or on how to respond to different emergencies. In this track as well, pag-uusapan din nyo yung different human movement Yung magiging profession nyo pag kukuha kayo sa track na ito is yung pagiging fitness trainer, game officials, tournament managers, recreation assistant, gym instructor. So if you're interested on the different types of sports or human movement, o yung malikot ka lang, enroll in this track, sports track. The fourth and the last track of the senior high school curriculum is the arts and design track. This is for all students who would like to earn money sa pamamagitan ng art. If you are creative, enroll in this track. Nakafocus ang track na ito on discussions about music, theater, visual arts, media arts, and dance, yung pagsasayaw. This track was created to break the stereotype in which sinasabi ng tao na wala naman talagang pera sa art, which is not true at all kasi may pera sa art. Dito sa track na ito, pag-uusapan din yung architecture, interior design, graphic design, industrial design, animation, painting, fashion industry, anything about fashion, photography, at higit sa lahat yung ating filmmaking. So if you are planning to join the creative industry, ito yung track na para sa iyo. So ayun na nga yung apat na track ng senior high school with their corresponding strand. So additional information, may tatlong exits yung senior high school curriculum, trabaho, negosyo, at koleyo. Trabaho, ibig sabihin, pagkatapos ng senior high school, makakapaghanap na kayo ng trabaho. Kasi nga, you already have the skills and knowledge para mag-apply. Negosyo, kasi tuturuan kayo ng, for example, pagluluto, welding, cabinet making, at pangatlo, koleyo. Kasi whatever you have learned in senior high school, magagamit nyo yun pag pupunta na kayo or mag enroll na kayo sa college. Now, to end this video, let me just say na yung senior high school is not a burden to the students in the Philippines. The additional two years in the basic education curriculum is never a burden to the students or the parents. In fact, yung senior high school is an advantage para makapag-isip-isip yung mga estudyante on what they want to pursue in life. Because in senior high school, marami tayong options. So in the end, senior high school curriculum was created for you to be college-ready, job ready and negosyo ready. So that's it for this vlog guys. I hope nagkaroon kayo ng idea on what senior high school curriculum is all about. If you have questions, just comment it below or suggest a topic. Also, be sure to check the description box for more senior high school tips and advices. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Subscribe kayo ah! So this has been Marky saying, Laban lang.